Shut up and sit down. What's going on everybody? Big Dog Brett. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the JT Daniels debut and uh, how'd he do? And compare it kind of to what I said before. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's get after it. Here we go. All right. So we're going to start and we're going to run through all of the uh, all of the uh, the passes here that I could find. This is just kind of a an overview this doesn't I don't think this has every pass in it because there was I don't know like 30 something passes this is just gonna give you a quick breakdown on and I'm gonna do just like I did before where I'm gonna go backwards and forwards and and all this fun stuff so here we go JT Daniels first pass of the game got a man in motion shotgun takes a snap he kind of a little bit looked right and right here George Pickens looks like he is about to just just run down the field at, a, at just an insane speed and it throws the brakes on right here. <clears throat> As you can see, you've got this linebacker here who has already decided, oops, got to go back. Because of the man in motion, you have pulled to this side. Everybody pulls over. Pickens is out here on an island by himself. This is way too much room for a guy like Pickens to have. And because of that, he gone. Shakes him. First down, five yards, ten yards. 15 yards after the first down so welcome back george pickens <laughs> we've missed you sir okay high snap here it's okay quarterback doesn't get flustered uh looks like a handoff or is going to be a, a fake to a handoff here this doesn't really change much but look here once again george pickens on an island these guys are starting to pull down he's coming up he realizes that this is his guy starts to drop back but too late. Same pass as before. It's just from a different hash mark. Bang. Pickens realizes he's got a lot of field here. He can turn and burn. He's going to turn up. He didn't quite turn up as quick as he should have there. But still picks up substantial yardage. Good accurate throw. All right. JT Daniels fakes a handoff. Good fake. Now, you see this little stutter step he does right here? Watch the stutter step. Ta-da. Da -da 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 -da, and then throws. So it's getting your feet under you. He knew he had his man beat. Uh, he knew his guy was going to be open. This pass is thrown perfectly. Uh, the defenders uh, won't say out of position, but not in a great position. When you've got a when you've got a uh, when you've got a receiver who's got a step on you, and you got a good accurate quarterback, there's nothing you can do here. Um, this is exactly what UGA has been needing. And this is exactly what it did, what happens. It's a 14. That's a 14 yard pass easily. First down. Okay. Drops back. Rolls right. Rolls right. Looks. 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 Boom. Right here, George Pickens uh, knows that his quarterback needs to. He needs a, his quarterback needs more from him. So what he does, if we can get it here, let's just back up a smidge. George Pickens runs out. There's this. This play right here is designed to keep this guy stuck on him. He's going to start up field. He's covered up. There's nobody out here. He's under pressure. Now, this guy changes direction once he knows the ball is gone. He's going to start looping around this way. But all of that is irrelevant. Right here. Look, George. this ball is thrown where only George Pickens can get it. It's thrown at the ground. George Pickens goes down. Great catch. There's nothing the defender can do to defend this. I mean, the defender was on him. George Pickens is like, yeah, I know. I know. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> He's like, all right, that's good. Here we go. Goes out, goes out, goes out, turns right. He's getting held the whole time. Guy's all over him. But that's that's what I mean when I say a pass, a, a well-thrown pass is indefensible. That's proof right there. Right here, you've noticed the ball is snapped. Uh, a hard count gets this guy to jump. They go ahead and run with it. JT Daniels knows he's got a free play, so he's going to take advantage of it. Here comes the flag up right here. It's already in the air. JT Daniels just got the ball. Fakes the handoff. Looks over. Now he's looking left. Sees his guy. It's the guy he wants. No pressure. He's got all day. And then just launches it. 
Kaang, a little underthrown, but thrown a little bit high, <laughs> where only, guess who? Mr. Burton. Look at this. A little bit of hand fighting. Receiver realizes he's beat. Ball is thrown short. Receiver, uh, defender had no idea where the ball was. And Jermaine Burton, just too much for Mr. Duncan. Sorry about your luck, sir. Looking left, looking left, looking left, looking left. That was right. Look at this. Boom. Go route. Nothing you can do. If Burton is a little more to the left right there when he catches that ball, that's easily a touchdown. This defender had no, no shot. Well thrown ball, indefensible. Watch this. Look, everybody realized, oh, snap, he's going deep. He was wide open up here. He was wide open up here. Let me back up just a smidge so we can talk about that a second. Look, look, nobody. This is complete blown coverage. This was his job. He blew it. And guess what? Guess what? Got it. Taking advantage. Looking right, looking right. Those right. Boom, right to the middle of the field. Ball thrown high intentionally where only our guy could get it. Snaps. Looks right, looks right, looks left. Throw center. Boom. Another, if you'll notice, there's a, a theme with his passes here. There is, a, a, there is more on them to go high. This is making the receivers use their hands. This is making it harder to defend against. Jermaine Burton, man, what a beast this guy is. Wow. Needed this all season. Look at this. Just plenty good, good coverage there. O-line doing a great job. Wide open, easy catch. Perfect. Third and long here. This was one of the, this was one of those that was really crucial that we picked this up. This was a this sort of sustained a drive behind the 20-yard line, essentially. Um, we really needed this. Drops back, drops back. Look, look, now he's got pressure in his face now, but I want I want to back up here. I want I want to show you. I want to show you something. Okay. Here we go. Watch how casual he is about how he just drops back. It's like da 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 da. There it is. Boom. Nice zip on that ball. Now look at the receivers. You've got one in front, one to the right, and two behind him. A lot of people might stress about this, but this ball is thrown to where he knows the first down. He knows where the first down marker is. He has that in his mind. And when he throws it, he's not throwing it here. He's not throwing it here even though he was open. He threw it to the first down marker. He knew he could make this pass, and he made it. This is this is big boy quarterbacking right here. Look at this. And then Pickens picks up an extra two, three, four yards there. That goes from the 20 to the 40-yard line. Drops back. Looks right. Looks left. Goes right. Right at the first down marker again. Spins up. Picks up two, three, four more yards. Drops back, looks left, going through progressions, looks right, throws right, big boy pass. Bang. Oh, my. <laughs> Again, Jermaine Burton, two TDs for today, by the way. For that day, I should say. So, watch. This is just a straight-up go, a uh, little hitch right there. Gets a receiver out of position, pretty much a go route. Bang. Nothing you can do with that. Now, look. he Flea flicker here, and then check down on the flea flicker. Okay, this is a quarterback who is able to make his reads very, very quickly. He looked the guy he wanted to go to downfield. It it wasn't there, so instead of trying to make something out of nothing and cause a turnover or potentially create a disastrous play, he decides to go out with the check down guy. Um, this right here just, I mean, look, he turned a check down guy into a five six yard pickup. Looks right, looks right, throws right, boom. Now, if this would have been Stetson Bennett, this this would have scared me to death, but this isn't Stetson Bennett. Watch the big tight end right here. Goes out, big body guy, nobody's on him. This play is designed this way. It's going to him the whole time. It's not going to anybody else. Then he turns around, which he's off screen, you can't see him. He turns around, and then boom, right in the bread basket. Now, he also could have went here. But this was not the guy they intended to go to. They intended here. This guy was open. He had three guys to throw to. This is proof that the offensive play calling is improving. Boom. Great job. Drops back. Looks left. Mm, little check down. We saw that earlier in the game. But went to Pickens earlier in the game. Drop back. Look right. Look right. Look right. Not worried about the blind side. Pump fake. Gets the... 
Guess that defender gets his hands up right here. Let's drop back and take a look at that real quick. This defender here, like right in here, gets a hand up. Let's see if we can get that pump fake. Let's see. Pump fake. Okay. You never see, you've never seen Stetson Bennett do a pump fake. At least I haven't. I haven't seen Dewan Mathis do it. I think I've seen, I think I've seen Jake Fromm do it here and there. But I forgot this is this existed in Georgia offense. <laughs> pump fake. So what does the pump fake do? The pump fake a lot of times will get uh, a player to kind of overcommit. Now you saw a little stutter uh, right here on this guy, and then he is already he's loose. This guy's loose. His hands are going up. He's already in the throwing motion. Hands up. He knows that guy's going to have his hands up, so he throws it a little bit higher. Watch what happens on the back end. Guess who? Pickens has to come forward, jump a little high, catch a ball. Only his guy could get it. Drops back. Looks left. Throws left. Bullet. Bang. Thrown high again. Demetrius Robertson. He is throwing passes that if you're going to catch them, you're going to be in the air. Notice almost none of these passes are laying any of our receivers out across the middle. It's important. That's how you get injured. Looks right, looks left, looks right again. Goes right, check now. First down, boom. Beautiful. Great decision making, man. Accuracy, fakes, pump fakes, pulls the guy up. Okay, before we throw, before we see where this ball goes, I want you to keep an eye on number 12 here. Watch what happens. Now, this was another play. This was another play where JT Daniels had multiple receivers that he could throw to, and he picked the one he wanted, right? So he wants the, he wants the deep ball. Look, number seven's open. Who's number seven? Uh-huh. So watch. Here he, he's staring at number seven. Look at the linebacker. The linebacker is staring at the quarterback. Quarterback is staring where? Here. Look who starts to come forward because we've thrown this pass like five times in this game. They are just in hot pursuit of George Pickens. He's hot-handed. Everybody's thinking George Pickens. Quarterback staring at George Pickens. Linebackers moving to George Pickens. Oh, snap. Quarterback stops looking at George Pickens. Quarter George Pickens is just hanging out, man. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Oh, I'm beat. Hold on. George Pickens hanging out. This guy, if, if you are ever in this position as a linebacker, you are beaten. If you're ever in this position where you look like you're punting a football, you're beaten. He Both of these guys realize simultaneously the ball is not going to George Pickens. The only reason that this guy is in position is because he's covering this guy up. That's his job. So, this is a problem. This is a problem. When they see when they see JT Daniels change his stance and he starts standing tall and looking deep, they're like, "Oh boy." <laughs> Pump fake and then unloads. Now, Karis Jackson should have had that, but he dropped it. That's okay. We'll get back to that in a minute. Let's watch what happens on the very next play. Snap, look right, look right, rolls out, dodges, bang. Look at this. This was another high pass that George Pickens could have caught. Um, I won't say that the defender did anything here, really. Here's George Pickens. He's got a step separation. The other safety's beat. He goes up, ball hits him. He's got it. The ball hits him, and then he drops it. And he knows it, too. That's why he's so mad. All right. Looking right, this is a go route. This right here is actually, this is actually not bad for this particular play, what he's doing here. He's on a go route, he's on a go route, he's at a crossing route. Here we go. There is some confusion right here. I don't know what's going on here. Um, this is a little closer than what you want to be. You'll see why here in a second. They almost get tangled up. But this pass right here, now, this is now available if he wants it. But this is third and 20. JT Daniels is not thinking check down at all. JT Daniels is thinking touchdown or bust. He trusts his guys. He knows his guys there. That pass is now gone, and he throws deep. Look at this. Karis Jackson, man. That pass was thrown a little bit short, but where only 
Karis Jackson could catch it. Outstanding job. Little collision there, little almost a little rub. And then right there is where this uh this safety realizes he was like, ooh, I made a mistake. Watch again. He's kind of backpedaling, backpedaling. He thinks it's going to be a turnaround and catch close to a first down. And Curious Jackson's going for the end zone the whole time. Puts a little move on him right here. And now the safety realizes, I made a big mistake. Big mistake. When Curious Jackson starts looking over his shoulder and you're three, four yards from him, that's going to be a problem for you. Had to slow up a little bit, but perfect. Basically was out there by himself. Looks right, looks right, throws right. Little touch on this pass. Gives his guy an opportunity to go up and get it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, what else, can you, what else can you ask for? There were more big passes made in that game than we've seen made in several games at UGA. So, uh, great debut for JT Daniels. There was a lot of other passes that we didn't get to. But uh, I feel like those were the best at critiquing him. Uh, hats off to uh, I think it's Hayden DT uh, he put some of these compilations together so I didn't put that together he put it together so give credit to that guy did a great job uh, and as far as I'm concerned uh, JT Daniels uh, cannot be questioned as far as his arm accuracy uh, great great playmaking there all right, guys. Well, if you made it this far, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share. Uh, thumbs up buttons down here somewhere. Uh, don't Also, don't forget to uh, uh, become a member if you want to. Also, we're working on getting some merch. Uh, you guys, do me a favor. Have a great day. God bless. A hey, Yardbird, y'all are up next. Go dogs.